Shabbat Shalom, everyone. One of the things that we look for in this world that seems to be so sorely missing is a sense of ethics and a sense of morality. We certainly would love more of the leaders of this world to think in terms of what's right, to think in terms of goodness, to think in terms of the concern for and protection of other human beings. It's not very popular in these, these days for leaders of the world seem to think much more in terms of power and in terms of acquisition of wealth or power or fame. The Torah in our tradition has a lot to say about the development, the evolution of morality and ethics. You know, there was a great moral educator from Harvard by the name of Lawrence Kohlberg that developed a system of moral education in which the first step is that we teach children not to do what's wrong by virtue of punishment. So a child doesn't do what's wrong and does what's right because he or she will either be punished or rewarded. And then there are about eight steps in that development. And ultimately, the hope is that people arrive at this point where they don't do what's wrong simply because it's wrong. They've internal, internalized that sense. So as individuals, we know that we have a system of that determines behavior, which is meant to teach us how to be good, how to do what's right how to be responsible, not only for ourselves, but for other people too. And one of the places that that system begins is in a, um, a, a study of this week's Parsha, as we begin the book of Exodus. We begin the book that describes our slavery and ultimately our redemption. And it takes place under the leadership of Moses, who becomes our leader. In the first step, Moses is living with Pharaoh. He's part of the ruling class, as it were. But he goes out one day and he sees a taskmaster beating a Hebrew slaves and something wells up inside of him and he's not able to tolerate it. And so he strikes the taskmaster and actually kills the taskmaster. The second description of an event in Moses' life was he sees two Hebrew slaves fighting with each other. He tries to break it up. He tries to make peace between them. They reject him because they saw what he had done previously but it reflects something else in Moses' character. And then the third step is when he realizes he has to leave Egypt and goes to Midian, and he sees the daughters of Yitro by the well, and they're being harassed, and he helps them out. He helps them out just because it's the right thing to do. He wants to protect human beings. The commentators have pointed out that the first step is a step where a person realizes they have to protect themselves, they have to protect their own people, you know, in the rabbinic literature from Pirkei Avot, we learn, if I'm not for myself, who is for me? And that is the first step of ethics, taking care of ourselves, taking care of the people we love, our families, our community, and our people. The second step of that development then has to do with taking care of, taking care of others within our community, not just protecting ourselves against the other, but taking care of each other. And then the final step has to do with taking care of strangers, realizing that people are in need and our responsibilities don't, doesn't stop just with ourselves. I'm happy to share with you that which many of you know, and that is Rabbi Hector Eppelbaum is taking a group of approximately 12 congregants and friends of B'nai Torah to Israel. They'll be leaving after Shabbat in a great act of, of kindness, of chesed, a great act of tzedakah and a great act of solidarity. They're going, they're bringing many of the things that we have been collecting over the last few months with the TLC project, projects that will bring support to both soldiers and to Israelis. They're visiting with different people and they're going to be helping in the fields. And it's really an extraordinary act of kindness and it's an extraordinary act of, an extraordinary act of tzedakah and responsibility. We wish them well. We wish them a safe trip. Go in peace. Come back in peace. We'll look forward to hearing about it. And I have a great sense of pride in each one of them who have chosen to go on this mission. Shabbat shalom, y'all.